The ECU Pirates return home this weekend to take on UConn in his homecoming. And for one man, he's tasked with pumping up the crowd on game day. In this week's People in Places with Pierce, we learn all about the man best known as Steve the Pirate. Oh, oh, he's awesome. Who else has a pirate, a real legitimate looking pirate that runs out before the game? Who else but ECU? Steve the Pirate's awesome, man. I mean, there's nothing like bringing that passion. And purple and passion, they kind of go together. Passionate is one way to describe Steve Wetzel, better known by most fans as Steve the Pirate. The Pirates, the pirate's life certainly isn't foreign to him. I'm from Raleigh, and I'm with a group called the Shadow Player Stage Combat Group, and we do live uh, sword fighting shows, combat sword fighting from uh, Canada down to Florida. I, I work full time for uh, telecommunications, and uh, uh, you know, it, it, in my spare time, on my vacation time, is, is the, the time I spend traveling doing our shows. His emergence as ECU's live mascot almost happened by chance. They're looking for a, a new pirate mascot. And I thought, okay, you know, I could probably do that. So I went in, came up here to the marketing department, uh, had all my costume and everything, did the whole pose with the sword, and they're like, okay, I think you'll do. I've been doing that since 2009. It's my eighth season, and uh, I'm just loving every minute of it. There's nothing like it. PD may be the official mascot here at ECU, but many fans agree game days just wouldn't be the same without Steve. It'd certainly be different, yeah. Um, not as not as good. I'm glad we have him. Like NC State, it would stink. Yeah. I went to, to NC State for a semester back in the early 80s, and uh, let me tell you something. There's nothing like ECU, though. It's uh, it's the best. We won't hold that semester at NC State against you, Steve. A lot of people come up to me, man, I, I, I want your job. I say, yeah, you do, because <laughs> uh, there's nothing like it. I hear purple haze, and I just start, man, I'm pumped up. And I try to make it interesting, you know, I, there's only so much I can do, because I'm out there for two minutes at the most. Uh, but, but you know, it's, it's what the fans want, and uh, we've, we've been voted one of the top interests in college football, so we must be doing something right. It's one of those things I can hopefully grow into, you know, because Pirates can get a little uh, old and scraggly, and, you know, be, you know, being my age, I think I can, I, can, uh, I can hang with it. So as long as they want me here, I'm going to do it. <laughs> No matter where you are, if you see a pirate or a crossbones, you know ECU. Greenville really is my is my second home, and uh, I feel kind of uh, uh, sad when I have to leave. You know, when I'm driving here on 64. It's uh, it's like I'm coming home, so I love it. Pirate Nation is more than happy to welcome Steve as one of its own in Greenville, Pitt County. Pierce Legion, not on your side. And next week, we head back to old, the old burial grounds in Beaufort to learn why one girl's gravesite is the most decorated. Pierce is always looking for interesting and unique people and places to visit. If you have an idea, send him an email or you can connect with him on social media.